So I just wanted to make a video for you guys, um, for you guys wondering if you want to become a dancer or not, like if you really had thoughts about it and you just are not sure or um, whatever the case is. <laughs> So this is just basically a video on like how to decide if you should become a stripper. So I have my notes here on my tablets in case that I don't in case I don't forget anything. Um, so the reason I started dancing was because um, I was going well, yeah, I was going through a divorce. Um, I was married. Um, he didn't help me out with a lot of things and I basically had to start over um, and you know he had his entire family here and I didn't I just basically had my uh, my dad and my sister and um, I was kind of prideful and did not want to go back home asking for help I wanted to do it on my own and finish school and try to like move up in my regular job that I had or my career or whatever you want to call it um, but I just feel like it just wasn't um, cutting it like I just wasn't making enough money um, I needed a new car so that's kind of just how I started I had a friend that danced and that's kind of how I got into it um, but I kind of dived right into it and didn't really think about it I was just thinking about the money um, which is I mean, yeah, you're going to think about the money, but that there's other thing that other things that I should have thought of because um, I just thought it was something different than what I thought it was, if that makes sense. So um, I just wanted to make a video for you guys just to um, talk to you and let you guys know um, what it really takes, what really goes into it and um, to just help you um, better decide. So um Obviously, you start dancing because you need money, obviously, but you need to understand the demands of it. So, um, so basically, you don't need any like spectacular like dancing skills or pole, dan pole dancing skills to start dancing. You don't have to have a super ripped body. You don't have to be super skinny and super slim. You don't have to have fake boobs. You don't need have. You don't need to have a fake butt. Um, a little stretch marks is okay. So if that's one of your things that you're worried about, that's kind of holding you back from dancing, um, just throw that out the window. Okay. Um, all women come in different shapes, sizes. We're all different. All men are different. All men have their own cup of tea. If this manager at a certain club is a smart manager, he will have a very good, like large selection of dancers because he does understand that it is a business and men do come in there um, looking for what he likes. He might like a skinny girl with big boobs. He might like a shorter girl with big boobs. He might like a little girl that's a little bit more curvier or has a, a little bit more meat to offer. Every man has their own pre preference. Uh, um, I've had men that don't even mind my stretch marks. I have a daughter. So if that's something that is holding you, holding you back, throw it out, throw it out the window. You can, you can start working and fix those flaws after a while. Like just imagine all this money that you can make and that you can save and you can put it back into yourself and you can put it back into your appearance. You know, some girls just hated their boobs when they started dancing, but just did it anyways. And you know they were able to like afford a boob job and it and it didn't even affect them really financially because they were able to make that money back you know after they were able to go back to work with their new boobs and then they're getting all these new customers that just love big boobs or like or like fake boobs so you can definitely put your money back boost your self-esteem whatever the case is um you know we all have our um insecurities um so just throw it out the window like who cares like just go for it. So again, you don't need to be perfect. Okay. So number two, realize the time that, um, the time that you have to put into it basically. So it is, it can be time consuming. I work about four, uh, four shifts, sometimes five. Um, a lot of girls do have day jobs, so they don't really have enough time, but most clubs require you to work a certain amount of shifts or a certain amount of hours in a day. 
So some um, some clubs will be able or they will let you work four, six hours and then you can just leave and you can come and go as you please. And then my club in particular, you have to work at least three shifts a week. Um, each shift has to be at least six hours. So do realize that um, um, a lot of clubs are like night shifts. So are you going to be able to work your regular job and have this part time night job? Um, it is it is going to be a toll on your body. It is going to be a toll on your sleep. Um, um, you're, you are going to be a little bit more busy, a little bit more tired. Thing three is try not to drink too much or get into um, the habit of drinking. Um, you do need to stay sober throughout the night. You need to be focused. You are there to make money. It is a job. If people are offering you any type of pills, drugs, or medication, kind of just you know stay away from that because that can go to a very dark place um this industry is not just what they portray on tv it's not like a party 24 7 um you know um everyone's just drinking and having a great time and blah 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 throwing money whatever that's not all what it is there's a lot of darkness in strip clubs and you need to have a strong mental state of mind to stay away from that darkness drugs alcohol it can turn you into a different person and take you down the wrong path and you only have one goal whatever that goal may be to why you started dancing whether it was just to get by with a couple bills put your way through school whatever the case is do not go off of the path do not go off of your plan so um I'm not saying don't drink at all. Like I have a shot here and there. I have a drink here and there. But just remember um, that it is a job. So just keep that in mind. Um, you need to be able to be like skilled enough to, to get on stage and walk in those hills and get on the pole. So let's not get drunk face. You're there to make money. Let's see. Another thing is if you're able to deal with rude people. Just like they're not going to be praising you 24-7. Um, even when they are praising you, they, it comes off a little too much. Like, um, you know, like obviously you want to be like, hey, I'm not a piece of meat, but um, you're there. A lot of guys are there for, you know, a piece of meat. Like they want to look at something nice. And then there's those guys that just want to talk to someone pretty. Don't get me wrong. Not everyone's like a total dis disrespectful douchebag. But just keep in mind that not every patron, patron is um, the nicest guys guy in the world. Um, some guys will reject you. So if you are not a person that handles rejection very well, um, you might want to work on that because there's a lot of you can be the most beautiful girl in the room and you can still get rejected from from getting a lap dance. Or if you're walking up to a customer's table and before the before you even get the chance to sit down with that customer you'll get a hand like in your face. It's happened to me so many times like, oh, I'm good right now. Or I'm just here relaxing, having one drink. Um, I don't need any company. Um, so you have to be able to deal with that, um, to be able to deal with being rejected, turned down, turned away, um, dealing with rude comments, blah, blah, blah. Um, men can be the most disgusting little creatures in the world. So do remember that. So number five, remember that you are not going to get along with every coworker or wait staff in the club. Um, just always remember to, um, you know, just be yourself, be nice, um, kind of just like stay in your own, own bubble once you start at a, uh, at a new club, like, and then maybe if you're there after a while, you can kind of start like you know, opening up to a little bit of people, but don't try making best friends on your first day. Not everyone there is your friend. There are some girls that are there that want to watch you fall and they actually enjoy you not making money. Um, they they just want to see you fail. There's people in life that want to see you fail, especially in a, in a club. Um, just try not to develop to, like close relationships too soon or too fast. So just always remember that. And if they're rude to you, just kind of just turn the other way. I mean, 
if you kind of just stay in your own lane, you probably won't have any of those problems. Um, so just remember that. Another thing is to be sure that you do, if you or if you need a stripper license or not, or a dancer's license in your state or city or, or whatever. So that's one thing that you want to be able to afford. I know a dancer's license can run you between 150 to $200 depending on your area. So you need to be sure that you're willing to invest that money because um, you don't want to invest in that license and then totally just not even decide to go into the club and start working. Like you totally just change your mind. So you need to be sure that you are out, that you're 100% sure um, that you do want to dance because you do need to make your money back and you have to make your money back with um, the dancer shoes and clothes that you've made or that you've purchased and like all the makeup and your nails and your pedicure, like everything. You want to make sure that you can put that money back. So be sure that you are going to have to invest in all of that. All right. Another thing, understanding that people in your life, friends and family will judge you even customers going into the club are going to judge you, which makes no sense because they're de they're there for a reason. So don't like, how are you going to judge me and you're here? Um, I, a lot of family members don't even know what I do. Some of them might judge me, even though they'll probably never admit it to me, but I know they probably do. And that's fine. If you have friends and family that are judging you for dancing and making money, then they can just shove it there <laughs> you know what you're doing this for a reason you're doing it for yourself no one else is paying your bills no one else is feeding you no one else is keeping our lights on no one else is buying your car no one else is buying nothing if they're not buying anything for you doing anything for you and even if they were you're a grown person you're a grown adult you have your own responsibilities to me it's a job would I call it a career? Maybe, no, but it's a job. It's a way to make money. And if someone's going to judge you for that, then they maybe they shouldn't be in your business or in your life. All right. If they're not going to help you at the end of the day, financially, then they can keep their little two cents. All right. Do what you have to do for you. Do if you have to pay for school, if you need a car, if you just need to get by, you need an extra few hundred dollars a month, then everyone else can just shove it. You know what? And don't let that mess you up mentally. All right? You do you. Another thing is, are you confident in your are you comfortable in yourself? Are you comfortable showing your body, showing your your boobs or your butt or whatever the case is? Are you comfortable with um being the focal or the center of attention on stage? Are you comfortable with the whole room looking at you? You have to be sure that you are confident enough to get on that stage and own that stage and own that room. You have to be comfortable enough um, with strangers um, touching on you because there are some clubs that require, or they don't require, but they, that um, their VIP or their private rooms, um, the customers can touch on you. They can touch your boobs or your butt, never your vagina. You'll never go to a club where they're allowed to touch your butthole or your vagina. Just know that. But um, you need to know if you're gonna be comfortable enough being straddled onto a stranger that you do not know that is probably nine times out of ten um, drunk or somewhat tipsy. Um, and again, if you find yourself in a situation that you're not comfortable, be feel free to speak up or just walk away. Know that you can do that. Know that you have that power and you don't owe any owe anything to any customer. I don't care how much he's paying you. Okay? But just know that sometimes there is touching involved. Um, and you need, you got to make sure that you are comfortable with that. Another thing is club fees, club fees. So again, every club there is, um, there are clubs where the fees range between 10 to $200 a night. I would never work at a club that costs $200 a night. So just saying, um, you, you want to make sure that you find a club that is a little more in your price range. If that club looks like it doesn't generate a lot of money, or if you did one or two nights and you're just not really doing too well there, um, you just wanna probably find a new club, especially if it's um, it's kind of slow and you're not really generating any money and they're asking you to pay $150 a night and like that's all that you really made that night. <laughs> Time to like 
go somewhere else. So you want to keep fees in mind. So make sure that you find a club that, you know, has um, realistic um, house fees, I guess. Um, you need to be prepared that along with the house fee, you do have to tip all of your bouncers because they're there for your protection. Um, a lot of clubs require, require you to pay a certain percentage, I guess. Um, if you do order from your bartenders and waitresses, make sure that you take care of them. Um, sometimes um, they are there to help you to make money, so you need to make sure you do right by them. So do, do keep in mind that money does go into dancing. Um, you got to pay a house fee. You got to uh, tip your managers, tip your bouncer, and tip your wait staff, and then all the other additional money that you had to put into um like your money bag and your dances and your stripper heels. But, but obviously that would be like a one-time buy. I, I'd hardly buy outfits. I'd probably buy a pair of dance heels once a month. So that's like $50 a month. Um, Cause sometimes they do get st stinky, they get scratched up or the straps get worn out. So do keep in mind that you do have to put money back into this. You make money and then it just kind of goes back you don't work at a club for free. So just keep in mind that you do have to pay to work there every shift, every night. You get a tip every shift, every night. And you do have to buy heels every once in a while. So make sure. But you, if it's a good club, you, that shouldn't even be an issue because you'd be able to make your money back and some. Um, another thing is it is going to be hard to find a stable <clears throat> relationship. Um, so if you do have a boyfriend, you might want to like consider maybe getting rid of him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unless he's totally cool with it, but it's really hard to find a guy that will accept this lifestyle. So you just want to keep that in mind. It will it will cause fights. It will cause conflict. And a lot of girls do end up breaking up with their boyfriends. If your boyfriend is not supporting you financially or, you know, like he really doesn't have a say so. Back to like, they can shove it. All right. Because at the end of the day, this is you, boo-boo, and you're going to only stay young for so long. These are the years, mamacita. So, I mean, you might as well just go make money. Like, if you're looking good and everything's still together, you know, you're only going to be young. I mean, like, I feel like a stripper's lifespan is, like, 18 to, what, 30, 35. Some girls go longer, but... You know, these are the years, like, don't let anyone stop you, not even a man, especially if you're trying to reach certain goals and, like, whatever your goals may be. All right, you need to recognize that it will have a mental, psychological effect on you. Um, I, I struggle with it, too. Um, sometimes you can feel really negative about yourself after you've let so many people touch on you. You start to question yourself and your morality. Um, it does help to talk to someone, um, either a therapist or just a really close friend. Um, you have to remind yourself of the person that you are and who you are in, who you are inside and, um, just kind of brush those feelings of negativity off. Um, you know, after being sometimes rejected so many times and people being very like highly critical, believe it or not. People in the club are very, very high critical about anything and everything. And you kind of just need to let any negativity from any of this job or anything from this job just go out the window. Anything negative. Um, some girls are very, um, how do I say? Like they do their first shift ever and they go home and cry. I saw one girl on her first night get on stage and just ran off the stage. She, ran, she just ran off the stage and started crying. I've seen another girl give her first lap dance, like literally ran out of the, v of the VIP room crying. Um, so if you're feeling those type of feelings and you know, it's it's been a couple days or a couple weeks and you're still kind of dealing with those feelings and you just feel like you just don't do it. Like don't damage your mental health. If it's really getting to you that much, then it's just not the job for you. So do keep keep in mind like, you know, the mental consequences that comes with it. Um, some, a lot of women actually that start dancing find it liberating and they actually gain more confidence, which is kind of like where I kind of fit, like I kind of fall into that category. I feel like I got way more confident once I started dancing. Um, don't expect to make a lot of money every night. 
movies and like music videos and whatever can be very deceiving. You're not going to be making racks every night. Um, I haven't made $2,000 in a night in a long time. Um, I'm like so jumping up and down for joy when I make like $1,000 a night. And then I'm just like grateful when I make uh, $200 or more. I'm like, okay, it was a good night. Like I didn't throw all of my um, self-worth out the window. <laughs> so, but there are nights where you are going to make less than $200. There's nights that you're going to make less than 100. There's nights when you're going to make under 50. There's nights where I went home and only made $20. So just know that you're not going to be rolling around in the dough every night. You're going to have good nights, great nights, awesome nights, okay nights, terrible nights. So do keep that in mind. If you start dancing and you go on your first night and you only made like 80 bucks, don't let that discourage you, okay? Because there's the most beautiful, the most beautiful women that I've ever met in the, in my life and they, they went home with like 60, 70 bucks. So um, just realize that you have to be your own boss. You work for yourself. You're selling yourself and you're selling an image and a fantasy. So do remember that. Don't blur the lines between who you are and what and who you are at the club. Just realize that you are basically your own brand and you basically are a salesman. You have to consider your safety. Um, you got to make sure that your club that you're working for gives two ishes about you. <laughs> um, and the way you know that is how they talk and how they treat the dancers. And if they walk them back to their vehicles at night, if they're very, very like, like, keen on that then that's a good sign because that's a sign that they care about you guys and not every club manager club owner are angels you know um a lot of them out there are douchebags and um you just need to leave that club immediately if you start at a club and the manager's just a tool bag it's probably best that you leave if they make you feel nervous uncomfortable in any way leave um, you don't want to work for someone like that. So you need to be, um, you need to consider your safety within the club and outside of the club. Within the club, uh, don't give anyone your name or any type of information with the internet and everything. Like, I feel like it's so easy to find people nowadays. Um, so don't give any like private information. Just remember to always consider your safety. Uh, make sure you're working at a club that you feel comfortable with the people that work there, managers and bouncers, and that they make you feel safe and comfortable and that they are walking you back to your vehicle every night. If you're walking back to your vehicle by yourself, that is not a club that you should be working at because safety is very important, especially in this industry and in this crazy world, people get trafficked literally everywhere and i feel like a strip club would be like the number one hot spot that being said i think i kind of i kind of just touched bases with everything again if anything is stopping you from being a dancer um aside from the mental stuff i think if any if any has anything to do with um your mental health then it you shouldn't be doing it but um, if it's, it's people judging you, your friends and family are judging you and telling you not to do it, or you feel like you can't afford to start dancing because of all the essentials that you need, don't worry, you're gonna make that money back. If you're worried about your appearance, stretch marks, or you think you're a little bit too overweight or blah, 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 or you feel like you're too skinny, throw all of that out the window. If you feel like you can do this, go ahead for it. Just remember that um, some nights are going to be good. Some nights are going to be bad. Consider your safety. Um, and just, you know, be confident about it. You know, um, I hope at the end of this video, it kind of helps you like figure out, um, you know, what you want to do. Um, I know a lot of dancers that paid their way through college. I know a girl that bought her own house. It's a really nice house and that was like her one goal she went in and she talked about it and she spoke it into existence and she bought she bought her first house and it was a really nice it was like almost a five hundred thousand dollar house um and there's a girl that actually bought little houses and flipped them and that's how she makes her money she doesn't even dance anymore because her rental properties just pay for everything a lot of girls that i ran into had goals a lot of them didn't make them 
I'm going to be real with you. They didn't make it. They got distracted and whatever the lifestyle or, or the money, because you do make all this money and you just like, you think it's never going to end. Always keep that in mind. The money will not always be consistent. And there will go through a, uh, you'll go through a period where it does feel like the money's ending. <laughs> so um, any money that you make, please save it. Please invest it. Don't be in the strip club to five, 10 years unless you want to be. But just remember that you need to have a goal going into this lifestyle. I don't consider it a career, just my opinion. Um, dancers are like football players. Um, I feel like they can go to what, like what, 35 before their body starts giving out. Same with us, our body starts giving out, our appearance starts giving out. So I feel like you have like a good 10 years to get in there and get out. Um, I don't recommend dancing for 10 years, but just make sure that you go in there with a goal and you stay focused and you leave that club accomplished with that goal. Um, whatever that goal is, just keep focus on it and you can do it and you need to just be confident and go for it. And sometimes um, being uncomfortable is good. If, you, if you're feeling kind of like not unsure that you want to do it, I just say kind of just go for it and just see where you go from there. And then after that, if you're still feeling uneasy, then maybe it just wasn't for you, but you have to at least try. So if you're someone who's considering dancing, I just, just try it. Just see and just see what happens. Go with a friend that's probably wanting to do it too. Um, just make sure you take all my tips into consideration. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions or concerns, make sure you leave it down below. Um, I will be sure to keep coming with more informative videos. If you guys have any more like um, video ideas that can help you guys, um, please let me know. Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram at underscore Jackie Love. Um, thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you again. <laughs> Please like and subscribe and I hope you have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. Thank you guys. Bye. We'll get real love. We'll get real